live at the Guide Dog Foundation campus with Smudge and today we're going to be conquering our big staircase. Um, as you know, if you've been following her story, stairs have not been her favorite thing. So we've made it a really fun, positive experience. But on our way inside, we're actually going to be walking by some food distractions to practice her self-control. So there are four piles of kibble as we walk in and we're going to be reinforcing her good behavior and the fact that she's going to make a choice not to pull or lunge at them. So we're gonna go ahead and start walking in. Girl, so she looked at the food and then she chose not to approach it and start eating it. So this is really good artificial scenarios that we've been doing all throughout her training. Good girl. So this is just a fun way to get some training in as we're about to go do something else. Nice. Good job. So you can see she still has a relaxed, loose leash. Nice. And she is comfortable and confident walking by everything. So we're gonna head inside. Good girl. So we've been working a lot on her loose leash walking. And what's really cool about that is she's learning how to do it so we don't have to be reinforcing her every couple of steps. So we're gonna walk on inside. And she's supposed to sit and wait in front of doors. Nice. Good girl. So this helps our guide dog users know that their dog is ready when they are and they don't have a dog that anticipates and rushes inside. So we want our dogs comfortable sitting, hanging out, um, whether or not the door is open or not. So we're going to bring her on inside. Good girl. Good job, Smudge. Good girl. All right, so we have another door right here. She didn't like the staircase when she was a puppy because it echoed a lot. So we are going to get her up these stairs. She's really had a lot of fun on them. Um, one way that I've helped her get over this fear is we brought her meals, we brought her food. Um, we've done a ton of food reward. I've just sat with her hanging out on the steps. We've also brought her toys into this stairwell so she plays. So we always want things to be fun and engaging. So we'll go ahead and bring her on in. Oh, what is that? There we go. So we have our staircase right here, which can be pretty daunting if you're a little puppy. Um, so we want our puppies to walk on a loose, relaxed leash. And that's, she rushes a little bit. Come here, Smudge. Good girl. So you can see she's definitely more comfortable on the stairs, way better than what she used to be. She's relaxed, her body's relaxed, she's not adding tension to the leash. Good girl. That was a big jump. Thank you, good girl. So I'm going to get her relaxed again. She likes to come up here because she has friends that pet her and spend time with her up here, so she's always ready to go. So I'm just going to remind her that she needs to walk with me, so I'm going to pause and get her to make some eye contact with me. March, right here. Good girl. Good job. All right. We're still reinforcing at the top because she did a really great job. Um, she didn't hesitate at all. So we're still letting her move at her own pace at this. So we make it back down. Come here. And again, we always want our puppies to wait for us to make the decision to start moving because we don't want a dog that's uncomfortable or starts lunging or pulling because if someone's blind or visually impaired on staircases or going in and out of doors, it can be really scary to have a dog pull and lunge you. Come on. Good girl. So again, she's relaxed. She's focused on me. If I stop, she stops. And I just reinforce that good behavior. Good girl. All right, good job. Awesome. Good girl. So we're gonna go out our door. Look at her already anticipating the door being opened. Good job. And what we're gonna do is call the breakout session. So, when our dogs have done something that's a little stressful or scary to them, we just let them know they did a good job and let them get some of that energy out, whether it's good or bad energy, by giving them some scratches. 
Good girl. Letting them shake it off a little bit. So having that energy, dogs actually shake off their energy if they're nervous or stressed or scared. So I'm going to let her just relax and choose what she wants to do next. She's doing really well. There's some people walking around. She's doing great, staying focused on me. Good job. All right. So that staircase was a huge accomplishment for her. And that means that we can start using staircases in other areas. I didn't want to start using any staircases in public that she was uncomfortable with because we didn't want to put her in a stressful situation. Um, so I've still been carrying her up and down staircases, which can be um, tough because she's over 30 pounds now. So we're going to start using staircases.